Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. I am Pinky. Teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. I know we're a little bit behind, um, so here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. We're going to begin with our lovely Leos. Yes, it's Leo season. So brightest of blessings to all of you guys that are Leos or that know a Leo. Brightest of blessings to all of you guys, my lovelies. Let's see what you can expect for this month, your month. Let's dive deep into it. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can go ahead and click the link below the description. You'll be able to find all the links on there. If you guys are interested in our Manifest Your Destiny book or any of the journalings or journals that we have, you can find all of that on there as well. If you guys are interested in any of the ingredients or anything that goes up when we are teaching guys spell work you can find that as well on the link of amazon below all right my lovelies let's get into it let's see what we can expect for this month i hope you guys are as pumped as i am i hope you guys are not um suffering this heat right now <laughs> the way we are out here in cali yes it is the devil's you know what out here all right, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of August 2023. All right, here we go. Leo, Congra congratulations again. It is your month. We're starting off here with the Five of Swords. This is your current situation. For some of you guys feeling a little bit hostile or maybe people around you uh, really pushing your limits, um, it is important to maintain or create boundaries right now. Uh, the obstacle you need to overcome is the Four of Pentacles. So being more, being more mindful of the way you express or communicate yourself is going to be very important. I feel like it's going to be challenging for you guys this month. Um, I feel like you guys are constantly holding back or perhaps um, not necessarily expressing the way you would normally do. Um, I feel like because you're trying to be tactful, but it's going to be important this month to bring your walls up, Leo, in regards to, you know, boundaries. Boundaries is something that I'm hearing very strongly. It's important to uh, be a little bit more reserved. I know oftentimes you guys have a tendency of overdoing or overgiving, whether it's relationships or whether it's people around you. Um, but it is important to be a little bit more disconnected from the constant need of, you know, helping or saving people that you love. Now, you are closing a cycle here with the Ten of Swords and moving forward with the Queen of Swords. There is, like I said, a need um, to not hesitate cutting people out of your life, people that are toxic or that are negative or that are no longer in your energy, Leo. I see you guys very strong um, in regards to your energy. You are definitely vibrating from your energy. So again, for some of you guys, if you've been struggling with a bit of anxiousness, a, a, a little bit of isolation, uh, that's quickly going to be changing around for you guys. I see you guys stepping more into your power, stepping more into your energy and being confident again about, you know, cutting people out of your life that are no longer of value to you. Um, and I don't mean that in a superficial way. I mean it in the sense of realizing people that take too much, whether it's too much of your time, too much of your energy, uh, too much, just too much in general. Um, I see you guys t taking a step back and removing yourself from those situations. Now here with the Hierophant, there is almost like, um, I feel like for this month, it's going to be challenging for you guys uh, when it, and I heard boundaries off the bat. So it has something to do with family or the family dynamic or the people that you're going to be dealing with for this month. It's going to be important to maintain those boundaries. Oftentimes you become almost enslaved to people's loyalties. And as an example, if, uh, as an example, if you have a boyfriend or if you have a brother, a sister, and they keep trying you and they keep pushing your buttons and they keep pushing your buttons. You often have a tendency of over sacrificing yourself as, you know, on a subconscious level, uh, creating excuses because it's my brother, it's my sister, it's my mom. Um, again, it's the loyalty that you have for them that sometimes 
keeps you in in situations that are not necessarily what's best for you and i see you guys waking up to that i see you guys realizing that and again i feel like this month you're just not going to deal with that anymore uh, hierophant does often speak about um how we were raised or uh, what we think up until now has been either a habit or something that was taught to us maybe through our parents our grandparents etc so we have usually difficulty releasing that but i see you guys being more empowered and saying you know what enough is enough i'm no longer gonna allow people to walk all over me just because it's my brother just because it's my dad just because it's my mom um if they are not uh, making me better or wanting to make me better and instead they create nothing but chaos in my life i see you guys cutting cutting them out uh this month so again uh just be <laughs> be ready for that now you do have here the wheel of fortune it is a cycle that is ending and it is a cycle that is bringing much more balance to you the wheel of fortune with the justice card often represents if you guys are having any type of issues in regards to legalities it's coming out to the best of your interest it is a definite win um maybe some of you guys dealing with a separation or some type of divorce or alimony that's coming through for you guys this month now you do have here the knight of cups with the knight of pentacles i feel like you guys are ready to take a new adventure a new chapter a new cycle in your life where you're going to feel much more fortunate you're going to feel like your luck is in the upswing um and definitely take advantage of that leo you are very deserving of that my lovelies all right so i hope you guys enjoyed now let's go to virgo let's see what's going on with virgo for this month of august let's see what's going on with virgo sun moon rising venus for guys ancestors and archangels please step forward allow us to see here since you and receive the messages loud and clearly for virgo sun moon rising venus for this month of august 2023 virgo sun moon rising venus all right here we go virgo we're starting off here with the seven of pentacles there is something you're waiting on virgo um for some of you guys it could be news that you've been waiting for or wanting to hear from someone um there is almost communication that's going to come through but it's not going to come through in the form that you were expecting or that you were wanting it is speaking about quick and hasty communication but i feel like it's more cutthroat versus um if you're waiting to hear from an ex-partner or someone from your past in a loving way i feel like it's more of hey what's up type of thing and um yeah i wouldn't necessarily tell you guys to stay in that energy uh with the nine of cups in the past and passing position um again like i said if you're waiting to hear from an ex or someone from your past there is definite um communication that comes through it may not come through like i said the way you would have hoped or expected it to however it's still coming through there is probability for some type of conciliation or reconciliation with the eight of pentacles here um if there was some type of separation or miscommunicate or even not hearing from that person i feel like you're definitely going to be hearing from them this month uh but i feel like more towards the end of this month it's more of okay where do we go from here how can we get on the same page type of energy but i feel initially it's not the way you expected it to it could have been a separation or some type of uh, disconnect from a partner of relationship or some type of connection now i do see you guys walking away closing almost like walking away from closing closing a chapter for some of you guys if you haven't necessarily been able to move on because there was still communication there from an ex-partner i feel like this month you are getting in the mental state of mind where you feel much more stronger and you're able to say you know what it's not going how i would have expected it to and at this point i'm ready to uh, move on and if that's the case and that's what you're dealing with it's a definite time to move on virgo stop holding on to the past or putting yourself in the sidelines allowing other people to make decisions for you it's time to grab the bull by its horns and believe in yourself and know what you deserve 
Um, because if honestly, if you sit there and wait it out, it's going to be a disappointment for you. I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a person that's just uh, stringing you along. So if there was some type of confusion or excuses of why they're not communicating, again, like I said, the cards are telling you it's time to move on. It's time to stop holding on to the past or trying to rekindle something that is not moving uh, how you expected it to. Um, there is disappointment if you do sit there and wait. So again, whatever situation you're currently dealing with, Virgo, this could be in the workplace. This could be uh, almost waiting or hoping for things to get better and it just doesn't seem like it's getting better. Spirit is telling you it's time to get the ball rolling. Stop sitting there waiting for perfect timing. If you're not happy where you're at, it's time for you to start looking for a different job. It's time for you to make moves and actually take action towards the things that you want instead of sitting there and waiting for things to happen, Virgo. All right, my lovelies. Now we're moving on to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. If you guys enjoy these videos, definitely like, share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Okay, here we go, Libra. All right, your first card here is the Seven of Cups. A lot of confusion going on, Libra. A lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty um, you may be dealing with. It could have potentially have to do with relationships or partnerships. For some of you guys, you feel very unstable in a connection or in a relationship that you're currently dealing with. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty. I feel like there is a desire to see where, where it's going or if it's even worth saving. Um, here's the thing, Libra, what I'm hearing is if this has been a cycle, something of constant behavior, um, if you're dealing with a person that you are emotionally invested in, that you care for, that you are, um, giving, give me a second, you guys, because this light is like really reflecting on the cards and I don't like the lightning or the lighting, sorry. Give me one second. I'm not really liking this. Sorry, it was just throwing me off, you guys. Let me see if I could. I feel like it's stronger. Give me one second, you guys. It's really bothering me. Okay. So hopefully see it better there. Okay. All right. So like I was saying, if this is a habit where you're constantly trying to stabilize a relationship and it just seems like they're not really leading the way, they're not really telling you or showing you through actions where they're wanting this relationship to go. It's time to walk away from this, Libra. It is a habit. If you are, as an example, if you've been dealing with this person for over six months, they are definitely a commitment phobe. They're not looking for any type of commitment. And it's time that you realize that. It's time that you see things for what they really are. Stop making excuses for their behavior. Um, yeah, it's almost as if when things are going or there's a lot of things going on in their life, they become very distant and cold or disconnected. And it's because there's other things that have their attention. Um, it's kind of the same. You can't really follow if they're not leading. And what they're saying here is, again, uh, communication that is not constant Promises that are empty promises are not worth you waiting there and waiting for things to progress or to get better when in reality, like I said, it's empty promises. I don't see any type of stabilization there. I feel like this person has a tendency of 
like I said, they're they're a commitment folk. They're not looking for any type uh, any type of commitment. They're looking for excitement in their life. Um, so if this is someone you've been dealing with for quite a while, uh, it's time for you to see things for what they really are. Stop hoping, wishful thinking is not going to help or change the person. It's time that you put more value in yourself, Libra, and in putting more value in yourself, you're not going to allow just any, like you're not going to give your energy just to anyone. So be more selective when it comes to relationships and partnerships, especially if you guys are single and you feel like you waste your time when you're dealing with people, like it doesn't go anywhere. The truth of the matter is that they're telling you it's time for you to value yourself. The more you value yourself, the more you expect others way of treating you to be much more constant. It's not necessarily uh, having expectations. It's having demands for how you want to be treated. And the first time you let it slide or the second time, you're basically teaching people how you want to be treated. If you're still there and they're mistreating you, they're going to constantly be mistreating you. So if you want higher vibrational uh, partners or people that you want to get to know better um, and see where it progresses, obviously it starts with you being much more selective, Libra. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to... Scorpio, let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Okay, here we go. All right, Scorpio. We're starting off here with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. A lot of fire, a lot of passion. I see you guys very motivated. For some of you guys, you're taking on some type of some type of journey, some type of project that you've been working on or putting your energy or focus on. I see you guys much more motivated. For some of you guys, you guys are going to be feeling more motivated in the aspect of your physical self. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Knight, uh, sorry, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. It's like being more reflective towards your physical. Um, so this could represent you guys changing your diet, uh, putting more effort or energy in how you present yourself to others. For some of you guys, it could be like almost a revamp of the new you. Uh, so for some of you guys, uh, a new hairstyle, some type of Anything that is in the physical aspect, you guys are uh, putting more energy, taking better care of yourselves, being more proactive in your appearance. Um, I do see a major transformation for some of you guys here. I'm going to be honest. Um, it's like um, being much more motivated or surrounding yourself with people that keep you motivated. But I do see you guys primarily focused in your image or how you feel about yourself and you're actually taking actions towards making you want to feel better or be healthier, um, much more proactive here. For some of you guys, it could even be like uh, going or thinking about having some type of surgery um, because I definitely see a major transformation that is in your energy sphere. So it could represent um, down the line um, or getting to um, how you want to see yourself. So for those of you guys that recently started a diet or started exercising, um, good for you because I do see you guys sticking it through and I do see you guys actually making that transformation. Uh, with the double card here and the hermit, um, yeah, I see you guys motivated. I see you guys focused. I feel like what's going to be taking center stage for you, Scorpios, this month is going to be your image, how you see yourself, how you present yourself to the world, and everything that has to do with the worldly or mundane. Um, so this is material possessions. This uh, could be focused on your career, wanting to climb the ladder, uh, wanting to get a higher ranking position. I see all of that for you guys. Um, with the devil and the hermit here, making sure to maintain balance. So be balanced in every single aspect of your life, Scorpio. 
Um, as an example, like I said, if you're doing diets, you're exercising, you're uh, changing your lifestyle, uh, good for you, but make sure not to take it to the extreme. Be patient in this process because I do see it uh, coming to full form completion. So there is transformation there, but don't don't overdo it, you guys. Balance in life is key and very important. Uh, I see you guys very much stable when it comes to your finances and your career. I definitely see cause for celebration. For some of you guys, uh, this is the year where you guys actually purchase a home or actually go and uh, create your own home. Um, this is the time. I see you guys really, like I said, focused. Uh, you have everything going for you this month, Scorpio. I feel like there's going to be things falling into place where it's going to lead you to feel lucky or to feel like your your fortune is going good for you or it's turning. Um, but I feel that it comes at the, you know, at your hard work and your determination. So the key here of what I'm seeing for this month is the sky is the limit. You will be able to achieve anything that you start this month. You will be able to achieve. Just make sure not to go to extremes. Okay, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies. Amazing reading, really. All right, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of August 2023. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023? You guys definitely stay tuned for more videos. I have tons of readings coming up as well as tons of spell videos coming up for you guys. All right, here we go. Saggies. All right, you have the Nine of Cups here. I'm talking about wish fulfillment, happiness. We've been seeing a lot of Knight of Swords. Uh, communication coming through for you. I feel that the communication that's coming through for you, Sagittarius, this month is going to be a bit confusing for some of you. Like there are certain things that are happening behind the scenes that you're feeling a bit frustrated about because you're not really seeing the whole picture. For some of you guys, this could have to do with a partner, a person that you're dealing with. It could be that information comes through about the moves they've been making or things that they've been doing behind the scenes that has you a little bit in your feelings. Um, but ultimately, I feel like there is a twist of events that is going to be unfolding. I'm going to be honest with you, Sagittarius. I feel that this month of August is going to be very distracting for you because there's going to be a lot of things going on. So there is things that are happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. I feel like you start to hear about them this month, especially those of you guys that are dealing with a partner where the relationship has been unstable for a while. I feel like there is a opening of your eyes. It's you realizing you're better off and realizing um, that they're kind of holding you back. And for the first time, I see you guys actually choosing yourselves. I see you guys deciding to basically grab the bull by its horns, see things for what they are, and make decisions. You're making calls to what's best for you. And I feel that this is great and amazing energy because I see you guys kind of battling uh, with an inner struggle that's going on. It's kind of like your heart is wanting one thing, your mind is telling you another. But I think ultimately... You listen to your intuition and what your intuition is telling you is that at this point, you have to learn to choose yourself. Uh, if the person that you're with is not bringing anything to your life, no stability, no happiness, no fulfillment, um, it's really about understanding I'm kind of holding on to an illusion versus what really is going on. Once you let go of that confusion in your heart of that feeling of not knowing what to decide because your heart is telling you one thing and your mind is telling you another. If you start paying attention to your intuition, you will quickly find that your heart and your mind are aligned and you make decisions to what's best for you at this point in time. Um, and I, for some of you guys, I do see you guys growing. I do see you guys stabilizing more 
once you're able to rid yourself from people that hold you back or from people that try to block your shine or what you're capable of doing. And I'm going to, I'm going to be straightforward, Sagittarius. If you've been dealing with the person that tries to mentally manipulate you or toxic, uh, belittling you or making you feel less than, I feel like if you actually give yourself the time and the room and the you know, the, basically the place to find yourself again, you will quickly realize that it's all bullshit, that they've been playing mind games with you. You wake up to that and you're like, you're going to be much more stronger for that and you're going to be much more sharper. And whenever they try to bring up certain subjects where they've kind of made you feel less than or belittled you, you're going to be able to see through that bullshit. And you're going to be like, oh, I know why they're telling me. They're trying to make me feel like shit so that I could feel like they're the only one that could ever love me or they could ever care for me. But what they're doing is not love and it's not caring. So you're able to cut through that illusion. And I see you guys choosing uh, to take action and to move forward in a positive way, in a much more stable and healthier way for you, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies. That is heavy ass energy, not gonna lie. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns, my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of August 2023. All right, here we go. Capricorn, you're starting off here with the Four of Wands, the Lovers. Some type of celebration for you guys this month. I see you guys um, uh, celebrating, having reasons to celebrate. For some of you guys, you are actually taking the leap or the jump in uh, acquiring a home or buying a home or creating a home. Um, with the lover's card here, I feel like for some of you guys, it is, you're on a mission right now. You're on a mission of creating stability, whether it's with your finances, whether it's in the material aspect or whether it's on the emotional, you've made that decision. So I see you guys much more empowered this month when it comes to materializing, uh, goals or aspirations that you've been working on or wanting to work towards, um, there is almost this feeling of there's almost this feeling of a lot of stress, a lot of mental strife that has been going on with you. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be the realization that you're ready for a relationship or that you're ready for a higher elevated commitment. Um, whereas in the past, you had difficulty with this. It could have been because you were difficult to open up. I see you very, very guarded in the past. Uh, so perhaps there was connections or relationships that may have came, but they didn't really stabilize or nothing came from that. And it probably had to do with the fact that you were very emotionally closed off. Um, but I see you guys actually taking the leap of faith. I see you guys taking action towards realizing this is what I want and I am no longer going to apologize for it. It's like you're releasing things from your past uh, Capricorn that held you back or that kept you in an energy of scarcity when it comes to emotional fulfillment. So it could have been essentially you pushing people away, then wondering why didn't nothing come from it? Were you really surprised? Or were you hoping that they would jump through every hoop that you would throw their way? You're realizing that this month, though. I see you guys really taking a deeper look at your life, where you're at right now, and you're making changes. And in those changes, you're realizing, well, yeah, I've been holding on to this for a very long time. It's time to let go of this energy. It's time to let go of that experience. And you're freeing yourself is what I'm hearing. You're freeing yourself from the past. Why? Because you're ready. 
I feel for a lot of you guys, you're coming to the realization that you're ready to move on. <laughs> Even before I said it, <laughs> there is stability coming through for you guys. I do see a relationship that's coming or that will be forming for you guys this month all the way to September where it's bringing a lot of stability to you guys. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with fire energy. It could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo person that comes through. It could be their moon, sun, or rising. Um, but I, I do see you guys being able to really detach from the past. And I feel like this new cycle or this new person that you're going to be dealing with is going to open up to you or you're going to open up to them. And in doing that, it's opening up a new world for you where you're able to see things from a different perspective, where I see you guys much more motivated, enthusiastic, and even passionate about this new beginning. And I do see you guys taking action towards moving to the future. So of, up until now, Capricorn, if you felt like, what's going on? I can't really connect with no one. It's not that you couldn't connect. It's that you weren't emotionally ready to connect. Whereas now I see you guys ready. You're realizing what it is that you have in your life and you are taking charge of what where you want your life to go you're leading your life basically <laughs> so good for you capricorn all right moving on let's see what's going on here with aquarius sun moon rising venus for the month of august 2023 aquarius sun moon rising venus for the month of august 2023 Aquarius. All right, here we go. Aquarius, yeah, the Six of Cups here. Queen of Cups. Four of Cups. Wow. Very emotional month for you guys. I feel like you guys have been going through this feeling off, perhaps not feeling like yourself lately. You're feeling like you're very disconnected. Um, not really that motivated for some of you guys but you're going through a healing phase right now Aquarius where you're healing past traumas or you're healing things from the past um, that perhaps you weren't even aware needed to be healed for a lot of you guys it could be dealing with a mother figure or healing things or experiences that you went through uh, with the mother figure so this could be your mother this could be a grandmother um Sometimes we can go about life not understanding fully the impact that our parents had in us, in our life. Um, sometimes our parents can love us in a very different way from the type of love that we need. Um, so it could have been dealing or you could feel like you're dealing with a mother figure love that could have been very overbearing or could have been made you to feel like you were very hard to love and I feel like this month you're you're realizing that you're you're coming to the understanding of that and there is healing in that so for some of you guys it's actually dealing with your mother this month where there could be a situation that brings up things from the past um, but you're also realizing well I'm no longer the child I'm no longer who I was then and I see you guys being able to let go of certain things. And that's bringing a lot of healing to you. Now, whether you guys are aware of this or not, we have different, in this earthly plane, we have associations and connections to um, different aspects of our lives. Now, something that I tell my clients often is, when we have unresolved issues with a mother figure, the mother is very connected to your fortune and finances. So sometimes, depending on the type of relationship you have with your mother, can affect your present and your future based on those unresolved issues. So I feel like the more you heal that aspect to you, the more you start to become more bountiful the more you start to experience more abundance around you. Even if it's as simplistic as realizing, you know, my mother wasn't necessarily the loving type. Perhaps they, you know, she critiqued me so much. She was harsh to me, made me feel hard to love. 
that you always felt disconnected from her, which Aquarians usually do. Um, even getting to the point of saying, okay, I can't change her because she's older now and that's how she is and that's her nature. But we also have, or we also have the power to decide, okay, I accept her for what, where she's at right now in life and I forgive her. Or I try the best I can to change her and in trying to change her, you are setting yourself up for disappointment over and over. So my advice to you, Aquarius, is at this point, accept her for who she is or what she is. Um, forgive, forgive her. And in forgiving her, you're forgiving yourself and allowing yourself to fully expand and to fully be able to experience life in the most bountiful of ways. Because healing that trauma also heals your finances, believe it or not and your connection to the out world, meaning to those around you. So if you're able to work through that, and I know sometimes that's really hard <laughs> and traumatic, um, trust me, I know. <laughs> but understanding and realizing that we can change people, right? On a very spiritual level, we chose the family that we came into because they were going to bring certain lessons to our life. And a very complicated relationship with a parent is difficult. But once you get to the point of understanding, you know what, I'm no longer the child that needed that type of love and affection. Now I'm in a grown, grown adult and I can give that to myself by treating myself well and not allowing those around me to mistreat me. You are taking your power back. And in doing that, you're also accepting they are the way they are, and you have two options. If they are extremely toxic, then you have the option to create distance and keep them at distance, right? Keep them at arm's length because maybe there's lessons there to be learned about boundaries. But if they meant good, they just didn't know how to love you the way you needed to, healing that and being okay with it and saying, you know what? Maybe their parents weren't loving. Maybe they were very cold and distant to, you know, to your parents or to your mother. Trying the best you can to understand them in the most loving way is going to heal you. And it's going to bring a lot of healing to you. And in that healing, it's going to open up doors for you that are connected to the physical, that are connected to your finances, that are connected to your relationships with others, with your partner, or with people you've connected in the past and it didn't go nowhere. Could have been because you were emotionally detached, unavailable. So all of this is, in essence, something that we need to go through. I think everyone does at some point in their life, but I feel like right now, that's what's taking center stage for you, Aquarius, because there is need for healing. And in healing, this is going to open your eyes to a new world, to a better world, to better experiences. Now, I see you guys really focusing on the material. So if you feel like you keep working hard or working really hard towards something and it just seems like things don't come off the way you or don't come out the way you want them to, it has a lot to do with the belief in yourself, Aquarius. And I feel like this subject of the mother figure come, that you're going to be dealing with this month has a lot to do with that as well. Um, has a lot to do with what you think about yourself and getting to the, like, to the real root of it and healing that is going to empower you it's going to open up more opportunities for you and it's going to materialize things, aspirations, goals, and desires that you've wanted to manifest for a very long time. It's just been a bit difficult. Healing yourself and being able to allow the energy to flow organically will manifest for you. So, good luck with that, my lovelies. Alrighty. See, that's what happens when you go through doing shadow work. This is why shadow work is very important, you guys. Um, 
yeah and sometimes when we're not willing to take that step the universe will push us to realize certain things that we need to heal about ourselves all right moving on let's go to pisces let's see what's going on with pisces sun moon rising venus for the month of august 2023 Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, month of August 2023. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, here we go. Pisces, oof, 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 oof. Heavy, heavy energy here. Ay, mi madre. Okay. I'd rather not say nothing, and I'm just going to keep pulling out cards so I can see the overall picture here okay all right so we're starting off here with the tower right at the center this month for you guys it's going to feel almost like the rug has been pulled from underneath you you're being challenged right now Pisces in a lot of aspects um but it's necessary at this point there is something about resisting your evolution or your regeneration or your transmutation so everything in life goes through a regeneration or, or transmutation we go from obviously childhood to adoles uh, adolescente um a teenager to becoming a woman or a man in adulthood etc etc right it's transformation there is something about the need to hold on to things that are no longer for you pisces and there is a refusal on your part to evolve is what i'm hearing so i feel like astrologically you guys are greatly being impacted right now there is a lot to do with karma a lot to do with like I said, feeling like the rug is being pulled from underneath you. Things that may have been an issue, not necessarily a huge issue, but you didn't really take care of. This is the month that things are going to start to come up. So in the most simplistic way and in the smallest sense, it could be that your car was leaking and you didn't pay attention to it. Well, this month it may break down or you may find out that a that something needs to uh, basically the car breaks down for you to actually pay attention and do what's necessary to fix it the same thing with your home if the faucet has been leaking and you didn't pay much attention to it something's going to be breaking this month where you're gonna have to basically you're being forced to take care of it but this is in the most simplistic way in the biggest of things if the relationship is not working it is literally crumbling because you need to see things for what they are. And in this, you're also being forced to end certain things that are no longer working for you. The beauty and positive in this is that you're making room for a new beginning. Now, when we talk about karmic, with the justice card and the tower, it's kind of scary cards because it is indicating whatever you've been putting out, that's not necessarily good you are very close to your family but you have a tendency of like trashing them to your friends to your relatives to your colleagues whatever it's going to be coming back to you this month so again try the best you can to be a good human pisces <laughs> i feel like i don't need to tell you guys that you guys have a tendency of uh, being very loving maybe to the extreme sometimes um but often pisces do have a tendency of extremes so your anger could take the best of you and in allowing this it will have you leash or um what's the word i'm looking for um will have you basically flip the flip the shit you know with the loved one that maybe you didn't mean to but it was just too much for you to deal with that you just exploded so be careful with that um now what i am seeing here is there is a culmination there is a being literally being forced 
to make decisions about your life, decisions that you didn't want to take, I feel like it's coming to the forefront now. There is, if you're in a marriage and you've been in a long-term commitment and it hasn't been working out, but you've just been going along with it, this is the month where you're really challenged so that you are being forced to see things that need your attention or that need to be fixed in order to be able to continue and if it's not meant to continue you are being forced to make decisions from that with the five of pentacles i feel like for some of you guys it's ending relationships for some of you guys it could be going through some type of separation or some type of divorce um if you've been dealing with or if you're already going through that and it's been very crazy and you're trying to get some type of alimony, child support, and they just have not been working with you. I feel like it's coming to it's coming to your benefit. It will come out to the best of your interest. You just are, whatever you're going through right now, it is for your soul's evolution and its purpose is to make you wiser and to make you more connected to your emotions and your needs um sometimes we blur that line sometimes we love people like i said to the extreme that you forget about yourself and your needs and your desires because you're constantly focused or putting all your energy and effort towards that person that then you feel empty or you feel like something's missing because you've over gave them over poured yourself to the point of exhaustion so you're being forced to acknowledge your needs and desires. You're being forced to make yourself a priority, Pisces. Whether you're ready for this or not, it is for your evolution. It is for you to evolve. Um, and no longer sacrificing yourself for other people. No longer forgiving people that betray you, that break your heart, that cheat and lie. And the excuse is children. The excuse is, you know, we've been together for so long. It's like, that's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. It's not, it's bringing nothing but instability to your life. And there has to be decisions. And those decisions best be to the best of your interest. Because if they're not, you're going to keep repeating a cycle of constant having to deal with the repercussions of karmic cycle um so again if you keep choosing your you know your partner over them being loyal to you you keep forgiving their cheating they're going to keep doing it more often why because it's forcing you to see things for what they really are it's forcing you to see it's an illusion the fact that i promise you i'm going to change but yet i keep doing the same behavior so it's like you're going to keep dealing with it why because you have to learn to bring balance into your life and in order to do that you have to balance your emotions and what you give to others as well. If it's if all they're doing is taking, there's a problem. All right, my lovelies. Very heavy and uh, harsh energy, but I'd rather prepare you guys and keep it 100 than have you guys go through that and not know what the hell is going on. <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August. Aries. I love Aries people male and female I've always had Aries in my life you guys are amazing the only ones that could keep up with me <laughs> you and a few other signs but all right let's see what's going on Aries okay we're starting off here with the ten of swords ending cycles ending communication with someone that you were really invested in or hoping that something would come from that However, you're coming to the realization that uh, you have options. So someone, someone that you were dealing with, 
kind of, um, they misjudged you or they assumed that they knew you because there's almost this um, energy shift that's happening. There was a desire or effort that you were putting towards some type of connection, but I feel like they didn't really give much in return. I see you guys really, it's like hot girl summer, hot guy summer for you guys. <laughs> there's a shift that's happening where you're like you know what I have options I don't have to be dealing with this I don't have to be dealing with the bare minimum the more you the more you sway on that energy Aries I feel like you guys are going to be on fire because people are going to be more drawn to you people are going to want to offer you love affection people are going to want to take you out um really give you the time of day and I feel like the person you were dealing with or could potentially still be holding on to is going to feel the pressure and it's almost like oh shit I misjudged Aries or I thought that like I was so sure of them and now all of a sudden they're entertaining other people and I feel like their ego is getting hurt here but in this I feel like the good thing out of this is that it's actually bringing to you a person that is meant for you, Aries. And do not be surprised for some of you guys. It could be an earth sign coming through. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn coming into your life. Especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. You're being forced to open the door to new beginnings. You're being forced to um, really take advantage of this new opportunity. Because you've been putting effort and energy towards something that is just not constant or it's not stable and yes they're going to be in their feelings about it but i feel like it's more to do with oh i misjudged and me personally if a person feels very secure and very sure about me um i take that as offensive <laughs> it's offensive to me because it's it's like them knowing that they have you and they could put you on their in their back pocket you know what i mean like no one should ever feel that secure about anyone i don't care how healthy your relationship is there has to be a good amount of not necessarily fear but knowing that things change rather quickly because if you feel very sure of someone that puts you in a position of eventually taking them for granted so again, I feel like they realize you're the prize, but when they realize you're the prize, you're actually dealing with someone that is better for you, someone that is meant for you with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this person comes in either in at the end of this month or the beginning of September for you guys. Um, yeah, my advice is let go of the debt weight. Um, if it's something that it's been constant, you wanting to give and wanting to put effort and they're just not reciprocating at this point, know that you are the prize Aries and it's time that you believe it. It's time that you see it and believe it. Why? Because if someone doesn't treat you well, trust me when I tell you, you will find someone that is willing to treat you how you deserve. It's always that way always doesn't matter who you are there is always someone that is willing to do more for you or that is willing to love you the way you deserve and sometimes we hold on to certain relationships because it's been a long time because we want to feel vindicated because we want to feel like it was worth it in the end but guess what that's ego that's ego holding on because if you truly love yourself and you truly know your worth you're not going to allow someone to mistreat you. The moment they mistreat you, you're like, okay, no, I'm not having this. I deserve better than this. And you're able to get up and walk away from that. So believe it, Aries, because the stars are aligning for you to bring to you the type of relationship you deserve. So hold on and don't settle. Okay. All righty. Let's move on. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus. 
for the month of August 2023. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Taurus, we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh, la la, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. Very interesting, Taurus. Okay, so for some of you guys, I see a relationship or connection developing. For some of you guys, it could be through social media, through a dating app or something like that. Um, I do see very quick, hasty communication, which usually comes through with... Uh, texting, like I said, social media type of communication that comes through. Now, what I what I am going to say here is with the Queen of Swords in the past, you've been uh, much more, what's the word? Much more critical, critical about the people that come towards you or critical about the people that you are getting to know or that you're wanting to get to know. There's almost this feeling of like, uh, I don't like the shape of their fingertips. <laughs> That's what's coming to mind, you guys. It could be as simplistic as I don't like their haircut. Um, I don't like the way, you know, they chew, whatever it is. What Spirit is telling you here is that it's time to open up because all of that, in essence, is it comes down to when we are extremely critical of the people that we're dealing with, there is a difference between demanding what you deserve, the type of treatment. But if you're just looking for ways out of not connecting with people, it's not necessarily that you're actually critiquing them. It has more to do that you've convinced yourself on a subconscious level that you're not wanting to connect. So you find the, f the faults in others so that you don't have to emotionally invest yourself and open up. Because with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords, there is a constant constant uh battle right between being open queen of swords is uh, the very opposite of open it is very guarded it's like she's literally holding right she's literally holding a sword <laughs> i'm not gonna allow anyone to get close enough to hurt me um so again i feel like you're excuses of why you don't like people or don't connect with people are just that they're excuses because you try to keep them at arm's length but i see you guys being more open coming this month of august i see you guys much more open and much more able to connect with people to connect to be more social to no longer uh, keep yourself on hermit mode. I see you guys connecting with friends, maybe rekindling some friendships there, um, or becoming more proactive and being much more social for this month, um, Taurus. And I definitely do see a conversation that opens up for you guys could be with, oh, very interesting. You guys have two queens and two kings here. Wait, was that a king? Oh, no, one king and two queens. Okay. So... No, yeah. King of Pentacles here and King of Swords. Very interesting. Okay. For some of you guys, um, for some of you guys this month, I see you guys connecting with a, with an Earth and Air sign. For some of you guys, it could be their Moon and their Rising is an Air sign. But I am do I do see you guys connecting much more or being more proactive in your dating life. I feel like there's a revamp of energy when it comes to your love life. I do see more potential. I see more options more than anything for this month, you guys. So try the best you can not to be so critical. With the Ace of Swords, the advice for this month for you guys is to be honest with yourselves. Um to be honest with yourselves about what you want. Like, own it. Don't sit there and say, well, if, if, I, if I don't find a partner or a relationship, I'll be happy either way because I'm happy with being alone. Well, there is a difference between being comfortable in your aloneness, and that's a beautiful thing, um, that I'm all for, you know, and... and People that have a tendency of not knowing how to be alone is something that I often tell clients. You know, you have to learn to be alone on your own 
to enjoy your solitude because only in that are you able to really connect with other people and allow them into your space and for them to connect with you and to actually love that connection. It's kind of the saying, you can love someone if you don't know how to love yourself because you're only going to half-ass love them, the truth. So what I'm saying here is be honest about what you want, Taurus. Be honest about the type of relationship you're looking for. But more than anything, be honest about what you want and own it. Don't sit there and say, I'm okay being single, but also crave being in a relationship or, or, or the need to be in, in some type of connection. Because of course, it's a beautiful thing to be able to experience life through others' eyes. Um, and it's much more fulfilling as well. Uh, so again, be honest about what it is that you want when it comes to relationships. There is a fear about not making the same mistake. So there is a fear about not wanting to perhaps give your love to a person that is unworthy of you. But what they're telling you here is with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, you will not make the mistake. You will not give your love freely, right? Um you will not be taken for granted if you do not make the same mistakes. And how do we not make the same mistakes? By being honest about what we want. Being completely transparent about what we need in a partner. Once that person comes into your life and they're willing to, you're, you're able to check you know, all those little boxes, then you know that it's real and you know that that's the person that's for you. But if you have a list of like 10 check marks that you need to check and they only meet three of them obviously that's not the person for you so i'm not saying settle taurus what i'm saying is be clear and honest about what you want and own it and open up and go out on dates and be spontaneous all right my lovelies i know my taurus are gonna be like oh i hate you pinky <laughs> because us earth signs we love habit right we love you know the routine but sometimes we need to shake things up you guys we can't sit there and be like well my love life is kind of boring if we're not really doing anything with our lives um yeah so all right my lovelies now moving on to gemini let's see what's going on with gemini sun moon rising venus oh Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2023. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Gemini. All right, we're starting off here with the Knight of Cups. Ooh, the Empress. There is a lot of new beginnings for you Geminis out there. What I am seeing here is for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with a situation where you're going to be tempted to embrace a new beginning, but also you're trying to be reserved or you're trying to be practical about certain things. Um, don't judge yourself too harshly this month, Gemini. Fully embrace the newness that's coming towards you because I feel you guys very much in your head and hesitant about either going out or being more social, even though it seems like everyone's going to be wanting to take you out or friends are going to be like, hey, we're gathering, we're going out on a social outing. And it's like very uncomfortable for you. But I feel like you're more in your head about what's comfortable. Um, and it's time to shake things up for you. Now, I do see, like I said, I do see a new beginning for you. And I do see you guys being much more on a vibrational level, much more seductive, I see you guys having or being able to draw in more attention. But when I say try not to be so harsh on yourself, whatever it is that you're trying to change about yourself, now is the time to do so, Gemini. Um, so if you guys are picking up on a new exercise regime or a new healthier way of living or exercising or taking care of yourselves, whatever it is that you're wanting to revamp your image on now is the time to do that but do it in a pace where you're able to be constant about it don't do things that are dramatic or overdo it because you will weather yourself out to the point of then 
completely stopping what you were doing and not not sticking it through basically so what they're telling you is whatever it is that you're starting right now slow and steady wins the race like i said start stop being so judgy um and when i say judgy i mean towards yourself i feel like you guys critique yourselves too much or expect so much from you guys um there may be some type of insecurity issues coming up for you guys this month but i guess but again like i said i feel like for a lot of you guys you're actually taking action towards that so i see you guys uh, much more invigorated much more with much more energy and for some of you guys wanting to um, change certain things about you for some of you guys it could be actually doing a makeover or um, like i said there is something about a transformation here that you're wanting to do primarily because you're judging yourself too harshly or have a tendency of maybe on a subconscious level comparing yourself to other people um, but i do see you guys taking actions in a positive way for some of you guys there may be some type of um, surgery that you're thinking about uh, or that you've been working towards um, achieving like saving up to actually get some type of surgery done or whatnot um, because I do see some of you guys wanting to go under the knife. Um, however, there, like I said, there is an, a cycle that you're currently going through where the old you is no longer who you are, Gemini. You feel a little bit disconnected. Maybe the things that you enjoy doing in the past, you no longer enjoy doing. Why? Because it's not fulfilling for you anymore. So I do see you guys elevating. I do see you guys being much more motivated to try new things which is why i'm telling you guys if friends are inviting you or taking you out to different places go for it go with the flow don't hesitate about it because i feel like this will also keep you or prevent you from new beginnings new exciting things that may uh come about okay now when we're talking about career and finances put your keep your eye on the ball basically on the mark um, try the best you can to be there is a need to be constant okay so for some of you guys as an example if you've been missing work or you feel like you are like I said there is almost this feeling of disconnection so if you feel like I, I just don't have it in me maybe for some of you guys you've been feeling a bit depressed maybe you've been feeling like you just don't really have the energy now is the time to basically get your ass up go you know get yourself in a kickboxing uh, uh, class or lesson, uh, do exercise, you know, to, to motivate you to raise your energy and your vibration. Um, now is the time to get, to get things done. And you're able to actually fulfill what you're trying to do. So, um, and also you guys, when we are experiencing a lot of mental issues and depression, the only thing that can help us shake out of that energy is to actually take movement or action. It could be as simplistic as going to walk around your neighborhood, you know, every if it's too hot in the day, in the evening, take a walk with a friend, talk about what's been going on in your day, get fresh air, like go out in nature. That's what's going to help you. That's what's going to ground you and motivate you. If you're being invited to, you know, to a gathering or friends to hang out, have a few drinks and you're just not feeling it because you're depressed and you'd rather just drink at home, that's not going to do anything for you. Going out there, dealing with other people, talking to other people, bouncing energies off of each other is going to help you get out of that funk, Gemini. So that's going to be very important for you guys this month and the coming month. Um, more to do with motivation as well because I do see you guys like saying enough is enough and you guys are actually taking action towards changing certain things about you whether it's a lifestyle whether it's um, taking better care of yourself whatever it is um, but I feel like that facilitation that transition happens easier and quicker surrounding yourself with positive and optimistic people all right my lovelies all righty now we're moving on to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of August 2023. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
sun moon rising and venus all right here we go give me a second let me have a drink of my red bull because we're running off of energy drinks right now you guys okay six of cups two of pentacles cancers i feel like this month you're going to be dealing with a lot that has to do with the family dynamic or your kids and so for some of you guys what's coming um what's coming through is having to deal with certain aspects of your kids lives so if they just moved out and they started to live on their own or they just recently got married or they moved in with someone there is almost this um instability that they're going through where they're going to need a lot from you on an emotional level and finances as well so there is a need for you to create balance in your life okay what do i mean by this so as an example if you have kids that already are living their life doing their own life but every time things get hard they come to you and you get them out of that hole then they're never going to learn essentially to survive on their own and though you may feel in the moment that you're doing them a favor what you're really doing is you're taking away from them the experience of knowing how to face or deal with certain consequences so i feel like you've sheltered them for too long where this month you're going to be your patience is going to be tested and for some of you guys, it's even realizing that you've been protecting them too much or you've been saving them too much that they've they've you've put them in a position where they are solely depending on you or they're starting to take advantage of you, Cancer. So there is a need for you to like really put the line, you know, on the sand and let them know you need to figure it out on your own even though it's difficult to do even though you know we always want to take care and and make sure that you know that our kids are good sometimes doing for them too much we make them weaker we're not preparing them for what really is out there what's going to happen when you're not there what's going to happen when they start abusing your kindness that you're going to have to check them you're going to have to pull back and be like, I'm done. When is enough enough? You know, so I feel like this month you're really going to be your patience is going to be tested because you're realizing that they're not really appreciating what you're doing. And it comes back to having the need to bring balance into your life, having the need to put your foot down, having the need to allow them to experience life and figure it out on their own. Um, you can go about saving your kids. You can go about it. And it doesn't necessarily have to be your kids. This could be your family. This could be people that solely rely on you all the time. And at this point, it, it's creating not only more difficulty in your life for some of you guys, you're, go you're going to really be having to deal with, you know, financial issues that make you realize I can't do for them anymore. I can't keep this up. I have to worry about myself. I need to be, you know, make them figure it out some way, some shape, some form. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's, it's going to push your limits, you guys. It's going to push your limits because you're realizing that they're either not appreciating what you're doing. They're not um, really learning to be honest because for some of you guys it's dealing with with the kid that keeps doing the same mistake over and over um and in having the need to step back and worry and make yourself a priority or look out for yourself and allow them to actually you know learn to swim on their own um in doing that you bring more stability to your life because i feel like for some of you guys and and this could be something that's already happening where you feel like your finances are a little bit you know kind of tumbling because they are relying too much on you because they're expecting too much from you you can't keep doing you know people have to figure it out on their own even if it's your kids um 
and in doing that and in going through this i also feel like it's spirit's way of allowing you to understand that we as parents sometimes have to learn and understand that everything is temporary even our kids our kids do not belong to us they are gifted to us to raise them to teach them and to let them fly when they're ready and when they're ready and they're taking on responsibilities of an adult right we have to allow them to learn to trip and fall and to learn from that and if we smother them or we try to save them all the time we're actually not helping them in that we're actually doing the opposite you know we are keeping them from the realities of life and it just keeps an attachment that is a very unhealthy attachment so again i feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to be tested in that aspect if you don't have kids this could be your family this could be the family dynamic this could be friends sisters uh brothers that often rely and that you keep taking them out of the hole and not you know not knowing when to say no i feel like that's going to be a major theme for you guys this month learning to say no and it's learning to say no at the expense of taking care of yourself or learning to put yourself first if you're able to do this you have mastered one of the lessons cancer that you were here to learn and you will start to see that life gets much better that you become more bountiful more blessed because this is something that you need to learn to say no all right my lovelies all right i hope that you guys enjoyed these readings i hope you guys enjoyed these readings i want to wish you guys the very best you guys definitely stay tuned for the love readings coming through for you guys and until then i'll see you guys soon bye